But what we have uh, beneath Turkey uh, in this case is a sort of worst case scenario um, of a very large earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8, um, but also at a shallow depth, so only about 10 kilometers beneath the surface. So that causes very strong shaking. So there are two major fault lines in Turkey. One is the northern Anatolian fault. So that's sort of at the northern part of the country, east of Istanbul. And this is the region where many of the largest earthquakes have been recorded in recent decades. Um, and sort of the seismic hazard of Istanbul was a, a, has been a big concern. Now, this region to the east, um, we have a fault here called the East Anatolian Fault Zone. This is where today's earthquake has happened. Now, there hasn't really been an earthquake uh, of this size ever recorded since we've had seismometers installed around the world for monitoring, so since about 1900. But there is, if you go back through the historical evidence of what people have experienced and felt in the past, many centuries ago, there is evidence for similar sized earthquakes here. So that I think you can have very large earthquakes in southeastern Turkey. They might just happen sort of uh, with a much larger time interval. It, we call this a doublet. It's a similar sized earthquake occurring in a similar location and time. And those are quite unusual. They're not completely unprecedented. We've seen them sort of occur in earthquakes, large earthquakes beneath the oceans causing bigger tsunamis. But I think in terms of the, the impact, the direct impact it will have on the rescue efforts, I think this is, yeah, fairly unprecedented as they evolve the aftershocks. But we can safely say that there will be tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of aftershocks. We hope that most of those will be small um, and not cause damage, but there is still a possibility of strong aftershocks, sadly. Possibly if this earthquake had happened beneath um, a more developed country where there are stricter building codes, um, somewhere like Japan, for example, which is you know has a lot of large earthquakes, maybe it, the, the, the the damage would have been a lot less widespread. I think there, there still would be some buildings which collapse. Um, that's common in most earthquakes, but I think we wouldn't have had such a widespread devastation in the sheer number of buildings collapse um, like we've seen in Turkey.